Hello YouTube, today we are going to speak about the steel types and which steel is actually better for uh, EDC knife or can we actually judge like this? Can we say that this steel is better than the other steel? And uh, before I will start, uh, usually I used to say that uh, when you are choosing the knife and when you are interested in steel, there are three main factors that you need to consider regarding the steel. The first and I think the most important is edge retention. So basically edge retention is how long you can cut with your knife. Yes, so basically we need knives not for stabbing. Of course stabbing is also used in some cases but mainly we are cutting. So we need to have a good edge retention on our knives and that's I think one of the key factors, key parameters. Second, corrosion resistance. So if you are uh, using a knife and it will be uh, rust in one day, okay, so that's not really nice, so we need uh, corrosion resistance. And the third factor, what I was saying uh, before, is actually easy of sharpening. But nowadays, actually, I think easy of sharpening is not key in uh, actually choosing the steel. So basically, of course, if you are using this type of sharpening, basically on this, of course, you will never sharpen the knife. You can only make it a little bit, uh, uh, so if it's a little dull, you can uh, uh, make your uh, cutting performance a little bit better. So that's not for sharpening, as well as this. But, if you are using something like this, okay, or if you are using a stone, of course, depending on the knife, there is different, uh, uh, depending on the steel, sorry, depending on the steel, depending on the hardness of the steel, well, the, the less hard uh, the steel is, the easier will be to sharpen. But why I'm not anymore actually considering this factor, but I will talk about this today, because, well, first of all, you have things like this. It really, actually, if you have a very good stones, yes, if you are sharpening M390 or if you are sharpening AUS8, yes, AUS8, you will sharpen maybe in 10 minutes. M390, maybe you will need uh, 20 minutes. So that's the only difference, okay? Of course, when you have only one stone, yes, th that matters. But when you have a really good sharpening system, that's a big case. But if you're using this thing, yeah, everything goes very fast. So basically there is no actually thing about the time of the sharpening. So now let's get back actually you know, to the key parameters and let's talk about the steel types and I will tell you why we are using the D2 steel and what other steels we are going to um, release this year and actually why those steels will be released. Okay, so why D2? Actually, I think, uh, and that's only not only my opinion, basically that's my experience, opinion probably uh, majority of the knife enthusiast, uh, the people who works with the knife, the D2 steel itself has a really, really good edge retention. So, and as, as I said, number one is actually edge retention. So that's the reason why majority of the um, EDC knives are done with D2. On the other hand, contrary, D2 is not very expensive. So it allows us, basically, knife uh, companies to bring on the market uh, decent steel which can hold uh, edge for a pretty good uh, and have a good performance and it's not expensive to produce. Of course, if we take such a steel as M390, okay, M390 has a better edge retention but the, the price difference is, uh, well, uh, is four times. So M390 costs four times higher than D2 steel. So uh, to, prepare, uh, to make the knife 
mm, uh, let's say let's take uh, my koshe kosh, uh, or let's take our koshe slim so if we produce basically uh, this knife with M390 it won't be anymore at $135 so that's key so uh, why D2 why we are using D2 and other knife manufacturing uh, manufacturers are using D2 is because it has a really good edge retention performance much better than AUS 8 much better than um, 440C much better than any other uh, basically not powder steels okay uh, powder steels like M390 uh, S35 VN uh, and other powders S30 VN S110 and others they have uh, the same as D2 depending on the test or D2 has a little bit less edge retention so that's the first reason but if we take the price the price is really high for the pow powder steels but if we take uh, for example AUS 8 and D2 then AUS 8 will be maybe, uh, I would say like 40% cheaper than D2, the, but the edge retention is not as good as on D2. So, uh, of course, uh, when we are, uh, we are not on EDC, we are not cutting every day, so we do not need actually the super edge retention, but uh, edge retention is important, so that's why D2. We as uh, uh, in Dagger, we are going to uh, actually, uh, we uh, worked with several steels. We worked with uh, uh, 440C, we worked with um, N690 uh, from Böhler, we worked with, uh, of course, with D2, with, now we have a, a test, we are testing the VG10, we worked with S35VN and we are testi uh, testing the M390 so we are going to release the knife with M390 as well. So what I can say, uh, basically uh, we as a company probably are going to concentrate, not, uh, we will not go back to N690 and 440C because Edge retention is not as good as on D2. The only uh, better performance those steels have in corrosion resistance. Yes, I need to be uh, frankly with you that D2 out of all the steels that I named is probably the worst, okay? Of course, it's not as bad as uh, really uh, rusty steels. I don't remember now the names. I think it's 1096 or something like this, well, high carbon steels. But if you do not actually um, clean, wipe out your knife, uh, your D2 steel, it can have some corrosion dots and uh, later it can go into the rust. So uh, that's why that's the, um, uh, uh, I would say, a weak part of D2 so uh, the only thing is that you need to be careful so always make it uh, dry always wipe out all the water from it and then you will not have any rust at whatsoever like on all my knives now why VG10 actually we are going to do the VG10 and Yaga model it's our OTF Kerambit will be on VG10 and uh, Vindetta, new type of Vindettas will be on VG10. Why VG10? Because VG10 actually has a pretty good edge retention, almost the same as D2 from our tests, and corrosion resistance is much better. So it will not go into the rust as fast as D2. Now, regarding um, M390 F35VN, M390, we are going to also to produce the Vendetta, premium Vendetta with this steel. It will be a really limited run. Probably uh, we already have a uh, waiting list much uh, uh, bigger than the, the number of ni knives we are going to release. Uh, so, but the knife, uh, but the steel is very expensive. The knife is going to be very expensive, around 320, 330 dollars. So. 
but we are going to uh, once again uh, produce a knife with S35VN. Last uh, two years ago, we produced uh, uh, Vendetta Titanium or All Black with S35VN, and we really enjoyed the steel and all the. Uh, owners of Vendetta really enjoyed this knife because S35 uh, VN has uh, better edge retention than D2 and better corrosion resistance than D2 so it performs better yes it, it's more uh, expensive it performs better so we are going to make actually from this steel um, uh, we are going to make from this steel um, arrow, arrow model so we were going to have this year uh, 300 uh, pieces of Arrow limited run and those knives will be with S35 VN. So, but me personally, I really uh, like the D2 uh, and uh, I think um, if you are taking the knife for your EDC tasks so to cut something so you're not working every day in a wet environment so you clean up your knife then d2 is also perfect steel there is no need actually to uh, have any other steels of course uh, on the other hand nowadays uh, the steel is more like you know a good feature Okay, so when you have a, a so a, like a lot of knife companies are putting uh, um, uh, expensive steels to justify higher uh, prices. Yes, yeah. Well, the the steel is expensive, but um, of course uh, uh, the price will increase not linearly. Okay, so if the if we put here. Uh, let's say in Koshe Slim, if, if we put M390, the, the price of Koshe will not increase four times. Because actually in Koshe knife, for, for example in this knife, to make the handle is more expensive than to make a blade. Okay, because the CNC takes a lot of time for working on, uh, on the handle. Okay, so uh, maybe uh, the, the price will be uh, maybe two and a half or three times higher, but not four times, okay? Uh, also, working with the, why the price is also not on the materials, but actually when you grind, okay, depending on the steel type, so if the steel is really hard, okay, and uh, you will spend more actually uh, you will spend on more um, belts, more grind belts, to uh, grind actually the, uh, the knife. So that's also uh, needs to be taken into consideration of costing the knife. Also, I want to give you actually a really good uh, uh, life hack, how to sharpen your knife and to have actually really good uh, uh, edge retention and cutting performance for a long uh, for a long period, even if you are using AUS, let's say eight or uh, other uh, low grade steels. How you can do it? Actually, usually when you are sharpening the knife, what you do? You start with the uh, grid belts or um, uh, 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 grid st stones. So you first start with I don't know 80 or 120, then you go to 220, then you go to 400, then you go to 600, then you go to 1000 to basically or and 2000 to polish the uh, uh, cutting edge. Okay, but uh, if you want your knife to perform much uh, uh, longer then uh, and what i do on my actually personal knives which i carry every day and which i uh, really work to extend actually edge retention and cutting performance i do actually only low grit sharpening so let's say 120 or uh, grit and then i take immediately um, 1000 grit change the angle okay and make a few grids so due to this reason 
my knife has, if you will look in the microscope, it looks like a serrations. It has a lot of uh, tooth here. So it uh, looks like a saw. Okay, and uh, due to this reason, yes, it's not so polished, the um, uh, cutting edge, it's not so polished, not mirror polished, not really nice, but it will cut more ropes, it will cut longer, so it will be performing, edge retention will be longer. So that's a small life hack, uh, hack how to actually in increase the edge retention on your knife if you do not have a really high uh, performing steel. So that's actually what I wanted to tell you about the steels. So uh, used to be three factors, as I said, now I think uh, with the modern sharpening system you are not really spending too much time on uh, sharpening so basically it uh, and in many companies actually like our company of course if you are in the United States it's maybe uh, time-consuming but you should know that uh, we at Dagger you can always send to us any your knife and we will sharpen it absolutely for free the only thing you uh, you will need to pay for the uh, shipping cost Okay, and that's what we do and many other knife brands, they actually do this as well. They, they provide the free knife sharpening on the knives they sell. So uh, you do not need to worry about sharpening, but what you need to uh, not worry about, but take into consideration is uh, the edge retention and corrosion resistance. The only thing with D2, it has really good edge retention, but uh, uh, it needs uh, uh, basically uh, cleaning, yes? So it, it has not so good uh, corrosion resistance, let's say if you compare it with the M390 uh, S35VN or VG10. On the other hand, uh, I didn't talk about the hardness, yes? The hardness of the knife. Some actually people think that the the, the HRC, the, the, the harder the knife is, is better. This is also not uh, actually so straightforward. The more hardness, hardness will give higher edge retention, but your knife will become more fragile. It can break uh, easily. If we have less hardness in, in the knives, it will be more, uh, how to say, uh, more flexible, let's say, than uh, not so fragile, okay? And if you take, for example, tactical knives, military knives, they are never, uh, they are never hard, uh, the, the hardness of those knives is maybe 56, 57 HRC, not higher, why? Because uh, they need to do some uh, strength work and uh, if the steel is very hard, then they can easily break the, uh, the blade. So that's why also it depends on the task for what, which task you're taking. So do, uh, do not only look at the hardness and do not only look at the steel type. So basically if you're choosing actually an EDC knife and you know that you are going to use your knife maybe two times a week to cut pizza basically you can take any steel doesn't really matter <laughs> uh, but if you're working with your knife very often uh, cutting a lot of let's say uh, papers a lot of plastic a lot of carton then uh, yes yeah, so let's say you are working with uh, in a warehouse or somewhere uh, where you need to cut a lot of papers or uh, plastic then of course the better edge retention will be it much better on the other hand you can always if you have a job like this you can always co consider full serrations yes the full serration, let's say AUS 8 full serration, will hold edge and will cut better than M390 plain. Yeah, so that's also you need to know. So thank you for uh, watching. Uh, this was, I don't know, a quick um, 
information about the steels, uh, uh, how to actually choose the steels, how do they differ, about the pricing and why we at Dagger are doing mainly uh, D2 and uh, in which steels we are going to produce some of our knives. Thank you for watching, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be informed not about Dagger but about all other uh, knife uh, information. So that's all, thank you and bye bye.